Alright. Whew, blisters aren't getting any better. Very hot feet. But the Achilles where I got spiked in is healing up pretty well. So, really gonna have to start vlogging more because now I have more free time. So no 20 big ones, right? It's 95 degrees today and you know for some reason I feel pretty good when it's this warm out. I don't know what it is but you know it's just my thing is the heat. So here's a couple of uh, steps you guys can do to prepare for the summer and the fall when building mileage, base, and strength training. Now I like to work on learning to run twice a day, right? That's a great way to build mileage but to scatter out the, uh, the runs in the day. It helps a lot with recovery. It builds mitochondria in your blood vessels more better because your body realizes it has to recover faster between two runs and you build strength that way. A, a 10k on the road is, a, is a really a strength race. A marathon is a strength race and a 5k is a strength race. If you want to run well in those distance, hills mileage based training is the way to go. Now it's when it's hot out, this gives you a, I call it a poor man altitude simulation where the air becomes hot, blood pulls away from your internal organs to cool your body, you're sweating more, more stress on the body, more stress on the body makes an adaptation, uh, makes the body want to adapt more to that specific stress. And when it cools off, you get into the fall and you're flying, you're feeling good. I've done every sum like this for so many years, guys. And I know how it feels. It Sometimes it sucks. Sometimes you're hot, you're losing a lot of electrolytes, right? And that's why sea salt is the number one thing. If you live in the Mediterranean or area, you could drink the seawater basically a little bit, along with a lot of fresh water to restore those electrolytes and all those minerals that come from sea salt in the ocean. Very important. Also, training in the sun. Some people are sensitive to the sun. They get sunburned more. I don't. Why? Because I'm always outside 24 seven every day of the year, right? So as the temperature starts warming up, my body gets used to more of the sun and I never get burned. I'm not burned right now. I get a little bit of tan, but you know, it's not a genetic thing. The other one in my family gets burned, but you build up more resistance to these elements. When you build your body stronger in every little way, you become a stronger, faster runner. I guarantee it. Another thing is core work is very important. Building muscles, building strength in the hips. Hips are very important when you're running a lot, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of hill running, mountain running, a lot of things that require a lot of strength. You want to make sure that your legs are in line, that your hips are moving forward and not swinging out the side because you lose a lot of energy running hills that way and racing up those hills. The less energy you wasted, the faster you're going to run. Simple as that. The further you're going to run, the more easy you're going to run. So hip strength. I have a hip band. Leave a comment down below. I may show you a few things tomorrow. And tough it out. I feel like summer training is the hardest part of my career and I think coming into the summer I'm, I'm scared because I know how much it's gonna hurt. It's go, It's not that it's easy running. I got a comment yesterday like base training should be easy running. Right. In a sense it's easy uh, as in the pace is slow but it's not easy running guys because this is the time where you need to build mileage. This is the time you need to get strong and when you're running eight minute miles over mountains in the heat it's freaking hard. It's the worst. It's like, you know, the two, three hour long runs in, in the freaking heat in the, in the summer and through the mountains. It's just the most God forsaken thing. It's literally feels like I'm in bad water when I'm going, when I go back to Sicily, it'll be 120 degrees someday. But once again, we'll, we'll build the strength, that sort of thing. And making it through some of these runs, it builds that mental capacity. Running 20 miles makes a 5k feel so short to me. And 10 mile, 15 mile marathon pace long runs makes a 6 mile threshold run or 6 miles of intervals feel very short to me and so you're building over, building more strength and you know when you're running those mountains I'm telling you it's gonna suck and it's just been always been the hardest point of my career is that July, August training it's just so hard, it's just so ridiculous but the pace is slow, it's just I think what makes it hard is that the pace is slow because you're so tired that you're going eight minute miles because you're running on hills, but then the time on your feet is so long and you're just hours in the sun, hours up those trails, hours and it, you know, you come back and 
the only greatest thing, the greatest reward from that is like this ice cold watermelon, the fresh fruit. And that's why I always advocate a vegan lifestyle, like raw vegan, especially in the summer, if you could do as much of it all day, fresh fruits. That's, and that's another thing. Eating dry food, too much bread, too much cooked food, too much uh, hen periods, whatever you got, you're going to dehydrate your body more and it's going to make running a lot harder. A lot of people aren't good in the heat because of this one thing, dehydrating the body, cooked foods, animal products, right? Those are the couple things why people do not run well in the heat or really can't grind out this summer training because it's because they have, they're have not restoring their body with uh, fresh fruits. And what do we got right over here? Look at this. Already over here, right here in New York, we got the uh, raspberries growing. But I won't be here to enjoy my raspberries because I have a freaking fig farm, watermelon farm in Sicily. And, you know, so leave more comments down below. I gotta be, I'll be doing more vlogs in Sicily, more stuff I have to talk about. So remember, strength training, hill running, it's very hard running at a slow pace. It's those long grinding miles. That's what base training is for me. That's what building strength is for me, and that's what breaking 14 minutes in a 5K for me is, right? And hopefully, sub 1330 by next year, 28-something, 20, uh, 10K, and how about a sub 29, 10K on the road? How about a Cow Harbor win this fall, this September? So, never stop running, always inspiring. Bada bing, bada boom, coyote loco. And you may get blisters in the heat and I'd love to run barefoot right now but the ground is too damn hot. <laughs> coyote out. Wait. Coyote out.